Hello everyone! As you probably already noticed, we like to give you a variety of puzzles in order to stir your brain up a little. Well, why not? After all, puzzles are a great way to develop your mindfulness, logical thinking and ingenuity. You can spend any time you want solving these puzzles. Some will crack them in no time, while others will have to strain their brains. Anyway, let's get down to business. Here we have seven logic puzzles. Let's get it on. Prisoners in hats Four prisoners are sentenced to death. Two of them have white hats and two of them have black hats. The men don't know the colour of their own hats. The criminals are lined up one after each other in such a way that prisoner number one can see prisoners number two and number three. Prisoner number two can see prisoner number three. Prisoner number three doesn't see anyone and prisoner number four doesn't see anyone either. Why is this happening? Well, the judge promised freedom to the prisoner that could name the colour of his hat. So the question is, who was the first to name the colour of their hat? You have to think really hard in order to solve this puzzle. If you manage to do it, congratulations. But for those who couldn't find the answer, we're going to reveal it right now. The fourth and the third prisoners don't see anything in front of them, so they keep silence. The first prisoner sees two hats of different colours. The second prisoner has a white hat, and the third prisoner has a black hat. Therefore, he has either a white hat or a black hat, so he doesn't know what to say and remains silent. The second prisoner understands that the first prisoner doesn't know the colour of his hat. Therefore, he concludes that the first prisoner can't figure out the colour of his hat because the prisoners before him have hats of different colours, and therefore he is the first to say the correct colour of his hat, which is white. Difficulties on the road well, now your brain's all warmed up, which means you're willing to solve more of our puzzles. So here goes. A man has been driving for a long time. Then he hit glass and pierced a wheel. To continue his journey, the man has to change the wheel. But while changing the wheel, he unfortunately dropped all four nuts in the sewage. It was impossible to get them out. The driver had already decided that he was stuck on the road forever. But then a child passing by gave him advice on how to fix the wheel. The driver followed his advice and drove to the nearest tyre centre. And here's the question. What did the child tell the man that he couldn't think of himself? The answer is much easier than you think. The child only told him to take out one nut from the remaining three wheels and use them to fix the fourth. The robbery. Mrs. Smith went to the police and told them that someone had stolen her antique necklace. The police went to the crime scene and found that there were no signs of forced entry on the door or windows, and only one window was broken. There was total chaos inside the house, and the entire floor was covered in dirty footprints of someone's shoes. The next day, Mrs. Smith was accused of fraud. Why do you think that happened? The police quickly realised that the owner of the house was misleading them, because the glass could only be broken from the inside, otherwise the fragments would be on the floor inside the room. Quite simple, isn't it? Pills 
We hope you want to solve all the riddles till the end, because the most interesting is still ahead. The cunning serial killer kidnapped some people and hid them in some dark basement. He then called them to the table and made them take one of two pills. According to him, the first pill was harmless, and the second would immediately kill the person. The kidnapped person had to choose one pill, and the killer would drink the other pill. Thus, the victims could get out alive and make their own choice. However, the result was always the same. The kidnapped person would choose one pill, drink the water, and die immediately, and somehow the killer would always end up taking the harmless pill. Now the question, how come the killer never chose the poisoned pill? If you were listening with attention, you probably guessed that both pills were absolutely harmless and the poison was in the water that the victims drank. Childless King Once upon a time, there was a mighty king with no sons or daughters. The king was very ill, so he had to choose an heir to his throne. So he sent some messengers to the city and told them to bring to the castle the ten most beautiful and intelligent children they could find. It was done. And in a few hours, the ten boys and girls were standing before the king. In order to choose his successor, the king gave each child a seed and said that within a month, they had to come back to the castle and show the plant they managed to grow. The king would then choose the most beautiful plant and the owner would be the future king or queen. After that, all of them went away and the king waited for the important day. A month later, the children arrived at the palace. Each of them had an incredibly beautiful plant. Only one girl came empty-handed and said that she couldn't do it. Seeing this, the king immediately chose her as his successor. And now here's the question. Why did the king make this decision? In fact, at first we couldn't understand it either. Turns out that the king originally gave the children seeds that wouldn't grow, and the girl who came with empty hands was the only one who didn't lie to the king, so she was chosen. Hotel Thief One day, a woman was staying in a hotel room when she heard a knock at the door. She carefully opened the door and saw a man. After a few seconds of silence, the stranger apologized and said that he thought it was his room. After closing the door, the woman immediately called the police and said that there was a thief in the hotel. So why did she do that? The answer to this riddle is simple and lies in its conditions. If the man had already thought that it was his room, he would at least try to open the door with his key or enter instead of knocking. Three doors. And now it's time for the grand finale, which will make you strain your brain really hard. A man was locked in the basement with a three-day food supply and a bucket of water. In order to get out of the basement, he needs to use one of the three doors before him. Behind one of them, there's a 10-foot high fire. Behind the second door, there's a mama bear guarding its cub. Behind the third door, there's a lake with hungry crocodiles. So here's the question. What door must the prisoner choose to get out of the basement alive? Think hard, it's no easy task.
Well, if you're smart enough, you've chosen the first door. The mama bear protecting its cub is not going to leave the man alive, even if he were to offer them all of his food. And not everyone can cross a lake full of crocodiles. But getting through the fire is impossible, you might say. That's right, but the man can put out the fire using the water from the lake, and the bucket will come in handy. And he can distract the crocodiles with the food, so they won't stop him from filling the bucket with water. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.